Every year, the United Nations Environment Programme hands out a very special award. It's called the Young Champion of the Earth Award, and it's awarded to seven individuals from around the world who are aged between 18 and 30. They're scientists, engineers, entrepreneurs, and activists who are working on bold initiatives to protect and to restore our planet. Today, I had the pleasure of speaking to Lefteris Arapakis, the winner for Europe. Can you briefly tell us a little bit about Enalea? You know, what was the problem that you were seeing and what are the solutions that you have come up with? My family have been working in the fishing sector for more than five generations. I didn't become a fisherman myself. I prefer to study. And uh, what really shocked me is that the fishermen were catching in their nets not only fish, uh, but also a lot of plastic. Like the fishermen everywhere in the world, they are just catching the plastic in the nets and they throw it back. So I I searched on that and I realized by 2050, we will have more plastic than fish in the sea. We started just training the fishermen from our hometown, Piraeus, to bring the plastic they were getting in their nets back to the land. We decided to launch Mediterranean Cleanup. So now we are working with uh, 145 fishing boats in Greece and Italy. And we are collecting from the sea around 10 tons of plastic every month. Uh, which then, you know, we integrate into the circular economy. We created a specific recycling line with local recycling companies and the rest we upcycle into products such as uh, swimming suits and socks. So to people who are passionate about the environment and want to act for nature, want to protect nature, what is your message to them? I hope that uh, we will be able to motivate more people to take action for our oceans, to raise awareness about the problem that we are facing. Thank you again so much, Left Terrace, and congratulations again on this award. And please keep working to save our oceans. Thank you very much, Luis.